Lakshmi, who is that Rakshasa? Uh, that's not Rakshasa Sekhar. That is Garuda, Mahavishnu Swahana. Hidimbi goes to kill Rama. No? Uh. Tata, Hidimbi is from Mahabharata, not Ramayana. And she goes to kill Bhima, not Rama. Tell me who is Arjuna's son? Abhimanyu. <laughs> who was also known as the Saukimani? Gautama Buddhudu. Okay. One last question. Where is the world's tallest monolithic statue? Um, ah, the world's tallest monolithic statue is Gomateshwara at Shravana Belagola. It stands 58 feet tall and was built in 981 AD. The deity is also known as Bahubali and was one of the most important pilgrimages for the Jains. How do you know all this? <laughs> Our teacher took us to a place called Surendrapuri. Surendrapuri? Yeah, Surendrapuri. There, almost all historic temples have been recreated. We saw Kailash, Garuda, Ramayana, Mahabharata, Saptalokas and many other stories in the form of statues. Once we also go to Surendrapuri, we will also get to know more about Puranas and Punyakshetras. <laughs> There is clearly a cultural and heritage vacuum for today's kids. Nuclear families, double income parents, stressful careers, smartphones, internet and gadgets have fragmented us. Our styles and outlook have become westernized. I love the concept of Surendrapuri. Our children today are always engaged with gadgets or mobile phones or watching TVs and they hardly get any chance to explore our culture or epics. So I think a place like Surendrapuri is very essential and relevant to our kids today than ever before. A child with good values grows to be a very good human being. For this to happen, they need a very strong cultural anchor. To take them back to our roots and to make them aware of our glorious origin, Surendrapuri is definitely a very, very important tool. Kids are not as bonded to their grandparents as they were earlier. There is no cultural anchor. We are losing the connect with our heritage. That is clear and present danger. Our kids need the moral and spiritual anchor. Surendrapuri is the answer. I find Surendrapuri amazing. We plan multiple trips in a year to Surendrapuri because when kids come here, they are full of questions. It awakens their imagination and enriches their knowledge of Indian history. I recommend Surendrapuri to all schools. It is a gateway to our culture and our heritage. A solution for the vital cultural connect. Three kilometers of temple pathways with over 3,000 statues. Just 50 minutes drive from Hyderabad. Relive Ramayana, Mahabharata, Buddha and more. Where imagination, curiosity and fantasy can come alive. More and more schools are using Surendra Puri to connect kids to the fascinating Indian culture and colorful mythology with dramatic effects as it opens young minds to the wonders of India. Surendra Puri. Surendra Puri.